Hey, hey, we are going live. We are talking self-love. We are talking your why, and we are talking all about why I won't plan your meals for you. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous day here in St. Louis. It is like almost fall. I'm super, oh God, I can't even tell you, like I'm super excited that fall is here and that, you know what? Baby, the weather is getting cooler. I just booked today all of our fall camping trips. Uh, we will be camping every weekend from September 11th all the way through November 21st. So that's what I booked, but to be honest, we'll camp until probably pretty damn close to Christmas. So I'm super excited for that. And stay tuned because I will do a full on, I will do a full on how I um, meal prep for being gone every weekend, what I keep in the camper, what I keep stocked, what like I will do a full on thing. I even have an idea to actually go to Supplement Superstore where I get my supplements and do like a lot, uh, not a live video, but a video in there showing you what I buy. So stay tuned for that. Also on Friday, just wanna give you a heads up, also on Friday, I am going to be doing a video on like transitioning from summer to fall because I can already tell you that like allergies are up and so I'm gonna be talking a couple of things that I do to kind of make that transition and then what also what I'm doing with my meals and workouts to transition to fall because again we're gone every weekend I don't get a gym all those kind of things so that is coming out Friday and God, I have so many things I'm just so freaking excited for like so many things coming out I'm so excited uh, one thing I'm telling you at the end of this video, so stay to the end because I do have a really big announcement at the end um, for something that's coming out. So I'm on the deck. I'm enjoying uh, what's going on. So let's get started. Let's jump right in. I want to talk about this. What is self-love really? So if you caught the blog this week, I really kind of just laid out what I think self-love is. And... It is, I'm gonna say this as nicely as I possibly can, and as you get to know me, you're gonna to get to know that like, I always, always, always come from a place of like love and compassion and um, just wanting to see the absolute best for you, but like, I'm not scared to kick you in the butt either. So, this is me kicking you in the butt saying, if you're one of those people that is out there going, I just love myself, hashtag, you know, self-love, oh yeah, yeah. And you're 50 pounds overweight, girl, that ain't self-love. Or boy, that ain't self-love. Like, you're not loving yourself. And I'm not, let me just be perfectly clear right now. You do not have to be a size two and super skinny to have self-love. I am not super skinny. I do not worry about my self-love though. Here is my true definition of self-love. It is not about just being complacent with where you are. And I think that there's so many people that, that say, I am enough and I have self-love. And it's like, you are enough for where you are right now. You're not enough to take it to the next level. I'm not enough to take it to the next level, right? Like for me to come, to become the next version of myself, which I see her every day, I have to, like, I gotta up my game, right? I, I'm not even there yet. Like I see her, I see who she is, I know her. By the way, her name is Shelby Cobra Jessica, um, and I see her, but like I have to raise the bar to be her, okay? So like, I'm not enough today. I do have self-love in the fact that I put in the work every day to become her. And I think that is the difference, I know that is the difference between my definition of self-love and me saying that I'm enough and yours. The key is I'm not enough. I'm not enough for who I wanna become. And if you don't know who you wanna become, you're not enough. You gotta figure that out first. You gotta figure out who you wanna become and then you shoot for that person. 
Because saying I am enough to me says you're enough for who you are today. And is that person good? Is it? Like saying I'm, I'm enough, I have self love. Well, are, do, do you really? Because I bet you deep down, do you really love the fact that you're 50 to 100 pounds overweight? Do you really love the fact that you eat like shit and you feel like shit? You just don't want to admit that you feel like shit? I mean, you can keep using the hashtag all you want, but at the end of the day, you're the only one that's going to feel like shit in 10 years. So check your self-love definition um, and don't just use the hashtag and say it because you want to try to prove to yourself that you're okay with where you're at. You know deep down you're not okay with where you're at. You don't have to strive to be a supermodel. I'm not striving to be a supermodel. I'm striving to be Shelby Cope or Jessica and I know what she looks like. Check your self-love. All right, moving on. The um, next one, what is your true reason? This is your why, okay? I, already, I just shared with you the version of myself that I'm striving to become. Under that umbrella, there's so many things. There's business, there's fitness, there's health, there's relationships, there's cars, there's property. You know, there's so many things under that umbrella. So my true reason for getting on a health journey, I mean, I will tell you in the very beginning, my true reason was fucked up. Like I did, like I just wanted to be skinny. I, I did whatever I had to do to get skinny. That included cleanses. I can't even tell, like it was a running joke with my in-laws. Oh, is she on another cleanse? which is super not healthy, by the way. You gotta, those negative people from your life. But, <laughs> that's a story for another day. But, um, I just, I did all those things that were super unhealthy because my true reason for wanting to do it was screwed up. Like, it was so messed up. So, what is the true reason you wanna do this? I will tell you that my true reason today is because I don't want to die prematurely. That's it. I came very close to death when I was 16 years old and uh, it's taken me a long time to figure out why I lived. And I think I honestly, I think I lived because partly because I'm supposed to help you figure out why you want to live. So I don't want to die too early. So take care of myself now because basically, because I don't want to die. We're all, it's coming, We're, it's gonna happen to all of us. Like don't even um, kid yourself, but I, I just don't want to, I don't want to be the reason that I die when I could have prevented it. And that to me is key. Like you could be preventing it every day but maybe you choose not to. Maybe you choose that fast food line over, you know, just a real quick making your meal or whatever. What is your true reason? Because if you don't know your true reason, and I don't mean the bullshit one, I don't mean the one that you promote online, I don't mean this, I don't mean, no, no, no. What is your true reason for wanting to get healthy? Are you like me and you don't want to die too young? Are you like, you know, I even like, is it for your family? Is it because you wanna walk your daughter down the aisle? What, whatever it is, it, like it could be because you wanna start a family. I know my weight played a huge factor in my husband and I um, tr like trying to, to start having a family back, you know, gosh, eight years ago. Like that had a factor, I was overweight. Um, you know, other things now have now played into it, but like, what is your true reason for wanting to get healthy? Until you figure that out and you don't bull bullshit yourself on that, your journey is gonna be screwed up, okay? So get to your true reason. Last, why I won't create a meal plan for you. So, when I first, 
like got my shit together. Not when I started my health journey, because again, my why was screwed up. I went on every diet you could think of. I did all kinds of stuff. When I finally got to the point where I said enough's enough, I gotta figure this out myself. I went ahead and got my certified fitness nutrition specialist certificate literally just for me because I felt like this this is this was the logic that went through my head right I was like okay I'm working out like freaking crazy I had a trainer back then um, something's off like I know my nutrition's off I just got to get my shit together like how do I learn nutrition so where do you go you go to Google start googling it now there's shit everywhere and I'm like good night like what do I just do for myself like I just don't even understand right well I was back then and still am today a shopper at supplement superstores <laughs> and I started going in there and I'm looking at all their name tags and their name tags say NASM um, certified and I'm like well, what's that you know what did I do I came home I googled what is an NASM? Well, guess what? You can learn about nutrition through them and you can get a certified new fitness nutrition specialist certificate. So I was like, a couple hundred bucks. I'll do it. Why not? So I went on, did it, learned it, passed the test. Great. And then I started talking about food and what I was doing and all this. And I had a couple of people that were like, hey, can you help me? Hey, can you write up a meal plan for me? And I was like, sure, sure, no problem. I can do that. And this is what I learned. You can write a meal plan for anybody. You can give them all kinds of ideas, but there's something missing. There's one thing typically missing and they won't follow your meal plan. And if you don't have this one freaking thing, if you're missing this one thing, you can get every meal plan under the sun, but you will never succeed. You just won't. It won't work for you. Uh, so this is my big announcement. I, uh, I want to teach you that one thing because the one, literally the one thing changed my life. When I figured this out, I figured out my why, I figured out my purpose, I figured out why I was doing all this, and I got pretty darn clear on where I wanted to go. And once this one thing happened for me, changed the game. Changed the game, my workouts are better, I'm stronger, I push more in the gym, I eat better. Like, this one thing was a game changer. But it's not something that I can just go, hey, just do this and you'll be good. It ain't like that. It's not. Because this is what's going to happen. I'm going to say, hey, here, here you go. Here's what you do. And you're going to go, I'm not doing that. I don't want to do that. That's too much work. And I'll go, got you. That's why I won't write a meal plan for you because you won't do it. But... If I can take that, whatever you do, the meal plan you want to do, but we got to go back to step one. We got to go back to the basics because until you got the basics and you got the foundation, that meal plan doesn't, doesn't matter. Doesn't mean shit. You got to have, you got to have the other shit together. So we're going to build the other shit and I'm calling it the make a muscle workshop. And it's not make these muscles. It's make a completely different muscle that I'm gonna tell you about in the workshop and it literally honestly it will put you light years ahead on your journey I mean had I had this one thing when I started oh my god it would not have taken me nine years to get to this point like I would probably be way better than I am at this point but it's that one thing it's that one damn thing that's missing and I know you feel it you freaking feel it in your bones you're like I've tried everything, Jessica. I've done this, I've done that. I just can't get it together. It's the one thing. You're missing it. So let that workshop is gonna launch on September 15th. And uh, it's going to be a few nights. So it's not gonna just be like all regurgitated in one um, thing. 
we're gonna go through a tactic, you're gonna implement. We're gonna make adjustments. You're gonna keep implementing. We're gonna go on to the second one. You're gonna implement. You're gonna do it. And at the end, you're gonna have a habit. And guess what? You can build upon that habit. So it's not just like, hey, I'm gonna give you, here's, here's a tactic, let me teach you for five minutes and you just go and do. No, 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 no. Here it is, this is how you do it. Step, step, step. Let's do it. I'm checking in with you. Are you doing it? How's it working? Did you figure it out? Cool. Let's add the next one. It's going to be super, super, super limited because you get just, a, you know, a heck of a lot of my time. So if you are interested in that, you have to send me a DM. Send me a DM. Just say, I'm interested. I will get you on the list and then I will choose. I'm choosing the people to be in the group. So that's it. I won't write the meal plan for you because you are missing one thing. And we got to fix that one thing first. So that is today. That's what I got. Love you all. Stay tuned for next Wednesday, seven o'clock. We're going live again. Love you all. Have a good night.